Barbecue Superstars, cooking channel. And uh, today we're going to do a massive easy cook. I mean, we got a lot of stuff rolling, a lot of stuff falling today. Uh, we're going to our oil up today. Hot box grill. Uh, hot box grill is a great tailgating grill. And this is a big time tailgating television show that we're going to do today. Today's really all about tailgating. And uh, I'm going to show you how to put together something that tastes really, really good and will feed a lot of people. And, okay, there's a lot burning in there. We're going to take half of our lit roll of oak, now lit with newspaper and cardboard. And we're going to put the burning coals in here. Get that started. We're going to put the other burning coals in our hot box grill. Now we're going to go with the offset hot box today. We want to put all the charcoal on that side. And we're going to put all the meat on the other. So, I'm going to try to do kind of a offset cook with the hot box grill. And, uh, let me get our Royal Loop. Boy, it smells good this morning. Now, it's supposed to rain. That's why we're in the rain mode here. But, obviously, it's not going to. Well, We've got three hours to go, so it might rain somewhere in our three hours. I don't know. We'll find out here in just a little bit. We've got such a big cook today that we're probably going to have to do three hours of, of prepping and cooking today. Okay, I've got all my, all my uh, charcoal for the hot box grill. It's all the way over to the left right here. Well, depending on how you're standing. That's the one thing about the hot box, it's a big square, so depends on how you stand. Let me take you inside just for a minute. Uh, I've got all the all the charcoal on this side. So I'm gonna put my main grate on the other side and I tell you I might put this one underneath the big one I'm not even gonna put it on the top rack so I can just let that heat just come right up through there and to the chicken wrapped in the pork loin that's gonna be setting right there and uh, Since it's burning perfectly, we're just going to go ahead and put our lid to the hot box grill. Hot box grill and we're going to let it come up to temperature while we get our prep done for our chicken. Well, wow, it's just hard to believe. Look at the beautiful sun coming out. They said it was going to rain today. <laughs> now I'm in rain mode. I'd love to be out there on my main set. I wouldn't have to do all this extra moving around, but that's all right. Like I said, we got three hours of cooking to do, so it might end up raining. Anyway, before we get done. Barbecue's about slowing your life down, kicking your shoes off, and taking it easy. It's a 
about forgetting about your corporate job and your problems and your worries and it's about cooking up that's what it's all about so i want to challenge everybody today to just hang out with me for a little while let's cook up some really 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 good Barbecue. It's all right if it does rain, we're ready for it. All right, so as always, first thing you do. You get ready to cook barbecue is you have to glove up food safety is very important especially when you're handling meat I gotta put this lid on this grill right here when it gets too hot I can hear it getting rolling now You know, when I used to be around some of my Amish cousins' houses, there was never a television on. So you have to entertain each other. And they get these little boards. I sell them on Barbecue Superstar. It's called carom boards. And it's really like a little pool table. You can play chess. You can play... You can play 109 games on it. And my brother Junior and my uncle Mose used to get serious about it. Now you can use a stick like pool or you can just do like that with your finger and try to knock the carom pieces in the corner pockets. <laughs> and uh, Moe's beat Junior, Junior beat Moe's. It was like a big competition. <laughs> they were cool doing stuff, you know. <laughs> I'll play it too. Okay, what we're going to start off with is the pork loin. And today we've got our favorite Sweet Smoke Q. Man, you know, he's got this thing so well engineered now. There's no sediment in the bottom or nothing. It just, it's just totally lucid and looking good right there. Sweet smoke Q. We've got the pork and we've got the beef. And uh, that beef is some fantastic too. Now the beef is four to one. So one part concentrate, four parts water or broth. And this is two to one. One part concentrate, two parts fruit juice. Oh, two to one. Okay, now it's two to one. Okay. Uh, so this is a 23 ounce bottle. So you put 80, uh, 92 ounces. Well, more than that. 94 ounces. 94 ounces with it. This will make essentially a gallon. Well, a gallon's 128, so, but it's 94 ounces. And uh, we're going to get our pork loin. And we're going to prep it first. Now, what our goal here is... I want to make sure this is clean. I don't wash it off again. I don't wash it off for each time. But, uh, what we want to do is we want to prep our pork loin just like we do a competition pork loin. And then we're going to wrap it in bacon. Then we're going to get our chickens. We're going to spatchcock them. We're going to wrap them around that pork loin. Now, 
Costco. It's got these Swift Premium Pump Ones. And I just think they're a little cut above. I mean, they are good, good, good. Enos on Dukes of Hazard would say that. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. I didn't know that happened in Georgia. I didn't know what state it was filmed in. Uh, beautiful pork boy. Well, now, last time when I did it with a turkey, I didn't take any of this off, but I think I'm going to take some of it off. I'm not going to take all of it off. Eh, I don't know. There's some good fat there. No, I'm going to leave it. I mean, we need something to flavorize those chickens. Uh, now, i got an eight-pound chicken we're going to be working with today. <laughs> now, folks, that's a big chicken. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is inject. We're going to build our injection. And what we got right here is Sweet Smoke Q. Sweet Smoke Q is number one in the United States. Jim Elson. He's not a man. He is the man when it comes to injections. Now, people out there would like to say it's a little salty. And that's not true. It's a little good. People are winning with it everywhere. Don't get no powder injection. Get yourself some sweet smoke cute. All right, we're gonna get our Martinelli's. I'm gonna put 12 ounces in it. And we're gonna get our mango nectar. What else would you use in it but mango nectar? Oops. And we're going to put that in there. There's no way I'll use all that, so I'm just going to stop there. And I usually put a little bit of agave nectar in it, but today I'm not going to do that. Today, I'm just going to put that in there. Now I'm going to use my small bore needle. Now I always use this. I need to me the $99 and get myself a, a child's power injector. They're the best in the world, but I just haven't reached out and done it yet. I gave mine away. I had one. Okay, we're going to come in from the side reach up toward the top I'm come all the way in I'm gonna do a matrix kind of across it boy you want to talk about changing the flavor of the pork now one thing you can do go in this way and pull it back going the other way you can hit it from three or four angles each time that you put it in I guess actually that would make less holes in your uh, pork ain't nothing like injecting meat it's like the NBA it's just fantastic Try to make sure you don't go all the way through the pork one. If you make a hole in the bottom, the bowl, it's security rope, and it'll leak out the bottom. And then the other big thing is don't put any pressure on it. You put pressure on your meat, and guess what? You just push it all right back out. Now, the whole reason I'm not taking Just went higher, lower, and deeper. That's kind of cool. 
Man, I tell you, Martinellas, you can smell that good apple juice in there. All right, there's our injection. It's injected pretty good. Now, since I happen to have it, I'm going to go with the Graveyard Barbecue Chicken and Pork Rub. There's two ways to the beach. I'm going to roll a pork loin over. You hit it. Don't quit it. And don't split it. Now, what we got to do right here? I know Jennifer, don't sing. He washed it white as snow. Okay, now, there's our graveyard. Now we're going to get us a little Cosmo Dirty Bird. What's the word? It's the Dirty Bird. What's the price? 30 twice. Okay. Got a little darker color to it. And the layer of flavors really works. You never want to put more on it than so you can still see through your meat. Not. I don't believe in that. Put some on there. That's a big pork loin. One thing good about pork loin is you can kind of stretch it out, thin it out, or you can bunch it up and make it fatter. And it'll work either way. Now, folks, I got an eight pound chicken we're fixing to roll with right here. All right, let me get a big old piece of tin foil. We're gonna let our pork loin sit right over here and marinate. Get it out of our way right quick, and I'm gonna go get me an eight pound chicken. Get this eight pound chicken on first. Our hot box grill is coming up to 300 degrees offset. So it's just about ready to roll. Now, if you're wondering whether that big pork loin will fit in this chicken, by the way, Tony Chatterins, Tony Chatterins is a secret ingredient in Championship Barbecue. Doesn't matter what rub you use, always add just a little Tony Chatterins. And we've got that on the website for sale. Just go to Barbecue Superstars and buy all you want.
we shall see whether this chicken, spatchcock, will open up far enough to get on that loin. We'll, we'll stretch the loin out. Like I said, you can stretch it out. It's a big chicken I think you can get. There might be some bigger somewhere, but eight pounds is a pretty big chicken. For our purposes, since we're going to have so much, I'm just going to throw that away today. Dump our chicken out. God, it's actually kind of heavy. It's like a turkey. <laughs> That's a great big old chicken. Now, you get this combined with that big pork one that I just had. You got a lot of tailgating food. That's the whole idea is to produce a large quantity to feed a lot of people. We love tailgating. On barbecue superstars. I might come in this way just a little bit. Some ribs sticking out. All right, man, this ain't good and cool. It's not frozen, but it's cool. All right, so let's get the other side of the backbone. <laughs> Trying to preserve as much meat as we can. I got over just a little, but not too far. All right. Uh, she'll wrap around that uh, that side good. We'll kind of lay it on top, like lay it around that way. We can pull them two thigh bones up around the. I'm going to leave that chicken fat on there for flavor. Okay, we got our chicken laying out here. What about that thigh right there? It keeps wanting to pull back under it. Which that's all right. All right. Da, da, da. Spatchcock chicken. So we got our, our chicken right there. Open wide open. Ready to accept the four points. that cavity is a big deal. This is where we get the opportunity to change the flavor of that internal meat. So I'm going to start off with a little Tony Chatterins. Look at there, we got the little bit pulled back on the thigh right there. You get that cavity loaded down with some flavor so we can let it set. That cavity is important. Okay, we're gonna get us some dirty bird and put in there. We're gonna hit it again. This is a good start dose. Maybe we'll get some. Ah, it's starting to rain. I was, I was right for uh, pulling under here. It's raining. Okay, now we're gonna put together an injection. the waste the injection we have might need it later.
That's sweet smoke cubes, liquid gold, folks. Liquid gold. Okay. Now we're gonna start with our chicken injection, which we got to do three chickens with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some in here. That's just good old chicken broth. Ain't nothing better than some chicken broth to get your chicken injection started. You hardly got room on one table. All right, so we're gonna get our better than bullion. Better than bullion will set off any injection. It really will. this one out. We're going to get some big time bullion flavor going in this injection. Because I got another big ingredient coming. Man, look how it changed the color of that uh, injection. And then another ingredient, major ingredient, in Budweiser beer. Head to the mountains of bush. Beer. I got one to drink and I got one to I got one to uh, use in the, our facility. Beer and chicken, folks, they just go together. Just quite simply part of it. We got three chickens to do, so man, barbecue and beer go together too. Straight up little barbecue. Uh oh, since the rain's coming down, I'll have to move you in a little bit. I think I'm still in a position with my big camera here to get wet. Bring it on in here just a little bit. It'd probably be a good idea to do it anyway. We get right here in the business of what our business is. Well, we're 10 by 10 in it. We may as well be at a barbecue competition right now. We got a little 10 by 10 going at it. Rain never hit, rain never hurt a couple. Man, cook it too, too close up. Boy, our uh, ooh, look at that injection now. Now you're watching me straight up mix this stuff up. Look at that injection. I'm not pulling any punches or lying to you. You know, barbecue pitmasters, they make up a recipe. It's not the real recipe that they put on there. They want to sell it to you. If you want a real recipe in barbecue, you got to pay $750 to $1,000 to go to barbecue school. They might lie to you there, too. Okay. Injection out of the way a little bit so our cameras can come in here. We're going to pull us up our first bullet of injection. Always starting to press. One reason I'm doing chickens today because everybody can't afford to go to the tailgate and buy a 20 pound turkey every time, but I might be able to buy a 5 pound, eight, 6 pound, 8 pound turkey. Now, I found these eight-pound turkeys at Publix. Uh, I went to Food Lion, and they only had six-pound turkeys. I said, no, nah, that ain't good enough for our cooking show. We need eight-pound turkey. And I went to Publix, and the meat market man told me they didn't have them. <laughs> and I said, well, because I drove probably six miles, I'm going to go ahead and 
I'm gonna go look anyway. I'll just go look. See. And there it laid right there. Eight pound turkey. I mean eight pound chicken. Now they had a bunch of ducks. And I almost got a duck. This chicken was sixteen dollars. The duck was thirty-five. And duck is really dark meat is gamey but now I tell you next time I do a cooking show I'm gonna get a duck and we're gonna try to change that duck around see if we can make it a little less greasy and a little more turkey chickeny coming in behind those uh, breasts we're just trying to put as much of this. Now I didn't, I didn't brine the chicken today because I'm going to inject it. You can't brine and inject. That's probably what the competition people do. All right, I'm going to say that is injected enough. So now we're going to get our dirty bird. Start going over this thing. Right. Now I'm actually putting it on the skin, but that's where our color is going to be. And to be honest with you, when I uh, hear a Tony chatter and start off with the base of that, uh, when I did the turkey, it still seemed like it translated pretty good on the meat. So I'm really flavoring a whole bunch of skin, but. that cavity in the, the bacon and the pork will come into that cavity and come up through this chicken. It will permeate the membranes under there. Of course you gotta figure turkey or chicken membrane is probably not as thick as a pork membrane, you know. Hey that Tony Chatterin is really, 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 really good. Let's go. And let's get a little Cosmo cow cover. That stuff is good. That stuff is really good. Once again, I'm going to load the membrane down. Now drinking alcohol is hard on your digestive tract. It's hard on diabetes. It's hard on now it'll increase your sugar load through the day. You know, I mean being a healthcare professional. I would suggest that you drink more alcohol than you can handle. And I tell you the primary reason I'm telling you that is because the less beer you drink, the more there is for me. Yay! <laughs> That's just wrong, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now we've got our chicken ready. We're going to cut our pork loin in half. Been planning this out all week. Pull it on up here. Get it in the camera. We're gonna cut this pork loin right in half. I'm gonna use the big half. Oh well, I might use a smaller half on this one. We got big plans for the other half of the pork loin. We got two more chickens to do. <laughs> I was watching this movie one time and there was a big dinosaur on one end of the bridge. Morton Downey, uh, 
Morton Downey Jr. What was the name? Robert Downey Jr. was in it. And the one guy looks at Robert Downey Jr. and he says, Take that stick, go over to the other side of the bridge, and distract the dinosaur. And Morton Downey Jr. said, or uh, Robert Downey Jr. said, what do you want me to do? <laughs> he said, you want me to take that little stick and go over there and distract that dinosaur. He said, yeah. He, he, he looked around at the guy standing beside him and said, did you hear that? He said, that idiot wants me to go over there and distract the dinosaur with that stick. You want me to do what with that? Are you crazy? <laughs> there ain't no way I'm going over there and distracting that dinosaur with that stick. Are you crazy? Can you believe he said that? <laughs> oh my God, it was so funny. I never seen a, you know, an action movie where a character done that before, where he just like was, uh, and you know, and, and a lot of times you see those movies, you say. Oh, man. You know that guy's getting ready to get killed. And uh, especially if he's not the star. And uh, Morton Downey went off. I mean, Morton, uh, Robert Downey went off. It was so funny. I'm, I'm sure there's some of you out there who know what I'm talking about and probably know the movie's name. You want me to do what with that? <laughs> Are you crazy? Now you're more than welcome to take your ass over there and you do that. But me? <laughs> Hell no, I ain't doing that. Ooh, look at that baker. Now I could have made a baker weave. But I ain't gonna take the time on television to do it. By the time we get done bambooing this in, we're gonna set up pretty good anyway. Now last time when I did the turkey, I just put the whole loin through the turkey and it left about four or six inches out each side. Uh, this time I'm going to do it like this. We got our temperature gauge still on our chicken. Uh, we're going. There you go. What's the word? It's the dirty bird. What's the price? 30 twice. All right, now we're going to get us some bamboo now. Well, I was going to wash my hands off, but I don't think there's a point in doing that. We're going to get it all over our bamboos anyway. Now, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the rest. To the pork coin. Coming this way with it as far as I can. Okay, I think I've hit the wood. Uh, maybe not. Okay, now we're gonna come this way and attach the breast, this breast, to the poor boy. Getting on in there. And these bamboos really work good, they're magic. Alright, so now we're gonna attach the thigh to the poor boy. Come through this way with it. Come all the way across. This pork barn, if we can, go ahead and let it come through. And we're going to come this way. Attach the thigh to the pork barn. And go all the way through. All right, now. Pretty good hold there. Now we're going to get our dirty bird. And we're going to try to straighten up overall front now this stuff even if it's not totally connecting when we set it down it will melt and come all the way across that bird make a perfect skin and there's the first half of our work this morning now it takes longer to cook you know the pork one by itself takes about two hours 
the chicken by itself takes about two hours as a whole chicken. Now, chicken usually in parts cooks in one hour. So now we're going to take that chicken. Da, da, da. And I'm going to move it over here on our hot box grill. Hot box grill. Hell yeah. We'll just don't swing over there on it. I got another camera, so on the edited version, you'll see the exact placement of this chicken. This hot box grill is rolling along 400 degrees. That's good temperature for our chicken. It's an offset situation. We've got the charcoal over here. I got the grill part over there. Uh, I didn't I'm almost tempted to put that tray down one space but I'm not going to it's going to get too close to the charcoal oh we got a little sizzle going on there boy look at that now that's a tailgate mania right there and all those flavors will marinate and coalesce and come together and that right there is a major cook. I mean, so what do we got really got going there? We got about four pounds, four and a half pounds of pork loin. We got a pound of bacon. And we got eight pounds of chicken. Well, maybe seven and a half because we took that backbone out. And that bacon is right in the cavity of that chicken. Now, for color's sake, I'm going to leave it that way for about 30, 45 minutes. Then I'm going to turn it over so that bacon juice will flow right down into the chicken. We're going to put our hot box grill lid on. Fun. Royal Oak, the charcoal of champions. Royal Oak, the charcoal of champions. Hi, my name is Lonnie Smith. I'm the pit master for Team Bubba Grills. We do the competitive barbecue circuit, cooking as many as 25 times a year. People ask me how come I use Royal Oak charcoal. I use Royal Oak charcoal because it helps me make my living. I can cook with any charcoal there is on the market and I choose Royal Oak. Royal Oak gives me a competitive advantage against every other charcoal. Great meat, great cookers, great charcoal, great results. If you want to be competitive every Saturday in and out, there's only one way to go and that's cooking with Royal Oak charcoal. The charcoal of champions, Royal Oak charcoal. Royal Oak, the charcoal of champions. Now what we got here is 10 pounds of chicken. This is two two whole chickens. Uh 10 10 point Oh no, it's 11 pounds. Okay, we got 11 pounds of chicken now. This might be more feasible for you to find. And uh 
than an eight pound chicken. And these two chickens were only $12 and you get two more pounds of meat. The single chicken that was eight pounds was $16 by itself, which is high, you know. But if you got a huge family and you need an eight pound chicken to feed them all, or you just like an eight pound chicken because you want to get the leftovers and make chicken sandwiches later, there you go. What's the word? It's Dirty Bird. Morris Day in the time. You guys are cool, man. I'm letting the juice drain out of the bottom. I got all the guts out of it. Get some more of the guts out of here. Go to Barbecue Superstars. You can find the top 100 rubs, sauces, marinades, catering companies. Top 100 hamburger ingredients, hot dog ingredients. There's 30 or 40 types of ketchup. There is ketchup that costs $8 a bottle. There's ketchup that costs $20 a bottle. I don't think I'll be buying any soon. But backbone out of there. I just think backbone does leave flavor because it's bone, but I think when we go to connect it to our uh, uh, pork, it'll do better. Spice cock. We got some ribs sticking out of here. We'll take them off, throw them in the trash. So we don't have a lot of extra bones that might get in your throat. Go ahead and open it up, flatten it out a little bit. I think this is going to be like one of my prized <clears throat> conceptions. And I think it's a craze that could hit the United States and roll. Because putting this pork in chicken together really does something for flavor. I mean, it's good. I actually got all the rib bones off of that corner that time. And the second side is always the hardest. Might be something psychological to it. Take it out. I guess I cut this wishbone in half. This one pulled loose from the other side. I guess I got the biggest piece. Ooh. I don't want a whole lot of bone fragments floating around. Break this thing off. All right, so we're going in every story, there's always a villain. chapters of Barbecue Superstars. John Reeves is like the biggest villain. <laughs> that man. 
It's bad news. Anyway. All right, so we're gonna come on here on the inside. Put a little bit in the breast from this side. Dun, dun, dun. Get a pie, get the back of that breast. Okay, we're gonna turn them over. Red Rover, Red Rover, turn it right on over. Now we're gonna cover the front side. I'm gonna get deep in that breast. Put some injection in it. Put us some better than boiling broth and beer in it. It's all about instilling them flavors. Now, in a little while, I'm going to start cooking with moonshine. All kinds of different flavored moonshine. We're going to make moonshine a regular barbecue ingredient. You got on my drink. Oh, here, here we go. Sweet Smoke Q needs to come out with a chicken injection now. That's the next step. We need some chicken injection there. Mr. Jim Elser. Tony Chatterns and get in the cavity because that's really the most important place. Look how hydrated that chicken is. Now that hydration will end up in better food. Tony Chatterins. Man, that's some good stuff right there. Okay, this one. Dirty Bird, Cod Mo Cute. Cosmo Q's got everything. You can go on Barbecue Superstars and buy it all right now. Just go on the top 100, hit the Cosmo Q link. There's a bunch of other links to it, but that's the easiest one for you to find. If you look to the left, you'll see top 100. Okay, we're coming with our Tony Chatterings. I'm going to have to put Tony Chatterings on as an official rub and move it up the list because it's used heavily in competition. I didn't realize how heavily it was used, but it may be right up there with Smoking gun. All right, when I get done with uh, all this, I'm gonna have to get the hose out. Cheers. I have to wash this whole area down. Dirty bird. Now, if you'll notice the final coat, I'm going with cow cover, and that ought to tell you something. I don't care if it says cow cover or 
beef rub or whatever it might say on it, I'm letting you know that it's a big time chicken rub. Okay? So don't be fooled by the name. Put it on your chicken. Can you hear me now? Can I get a witness? We'd like to send out condolences right now for the nine people who got killed by the psycho young man. Crazy. But I would like to point out one thing. And I'm not saying it's the truth either way because I don't know. But whenever they want to galvanize the country on legislation, Seems like miraculously, there's a traumatic event. And there was some major legislation coming out of the Supreme Court yesterday <laughs> that, you know, gay marriage is approved federally and all states must comply. Isn't that funny? Okay. But I'm sure the two are not related. Now we're going to turn it over to the fat cat. All right, now I got a lot of bacon because I got two chickens. What I'm going to do is. Put you know when you're in competition and the stress is on. If you get a, if you forget a step, it'll cause you to lose. And I forgot a step on the other. One. I'll do it on this one and I'll point it out to you. But I did forget a step. This way, and this way. All right, so we're going to uh, get our butter. This is a step I forgot. I don't know why I forgot it. But. And we're going to cut it long ways. We're going to put a half a stick of butter across the top of this. Right here. And then we're going to get our dirty bird. We're going to hit it one time. Hit it one time. Then we're going to get our chick on. One time I was working in the pharmacy. Here come this woman, and she said, Can you show me where the chicken bouillon is? Hey, chicken bouillon? He said, No, chicken bouillon. Okay, so now what we're doing right here is we're coming right here. We gotta get some attachment going. Because we're gonna put the other chicken on the other side. I'm gonna 
put 10 pounds of chicken around this Just go ahead and hit this through this thigh, through the pork loin, and through the other thigh. Now, a lot of that chicken fat will cook off, but we're going to leave it there because it adds flavor for right now. Now, if it doesn't cook off, pretty much disappear, then we're going to get rid of it. this what we're gonna do is all right whoops now we're gonna get our bacon we're gonna go this way we're gonna go this way way and we're gonna go this way Jesus paid it all all to him I owe sin had left a crimson stain he was still white as snow Okay, we're going. This dead of the light. Washed here white as snow. Okay. Now we're going to get our chicken. Well, let's get our dirty bird. Come across it right here, catch it back of this leg, a little bit on this. Now this here is a chicken bomb. We're gonna get right here. Wow, look at there. Crazy, hazy, crazy. Massive flavor. Massive chicken. Massive pork and bacon. Folks, this here is, without a doubt, the tailgating food of the century. Okay, we're going to go at an angle. We're going to catch this leg down here with this bamboo. Come across. Now we're going to go this leg to the bottom leg, catch it through the pork loin, we're making an X. Okay, I got it through. Alright, now we're going to go breast into the pork loin, you know, breast into the pork loin. Probably catch some of the thigh down at the bottom. Okay. Now I might go straight through all of it. Straight through all of it. Get that extra hole right there. I brought my. Uh, Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. All right, let's get this little dirty bird and come across the top of it. 
Now we're not going to try to stand it up on its end. We're going to lay it down. And that will cause that chicken, bacon, to run all over that chicken. Alright, I'm going to finish this all off with cow cover from Cosmo Q. Make that beautiful color come on. I've been dreaming about this right here for about a week. Trying to figure out how to do it, how I was going to do it. Uh, man, that's a lot of meat. That's an excellent, excellent tailgate product. It makes a lot of product. Makes a lot of uh, flavor. It's just plain old good. This is all really cool. Alright, our, our uh, cooker is red hot. She's hot. I'm gonna get our big one and let you guys watch as we put it in the cooker. Since it's raining, and quit now. And I'm gonna set it just like it's setting now. Man, it's a historic moment now. I'm the only one making this. Combination. Our cooker is blowing up hot. We want to get us a good cook going on it. Get some flavor rolling. Now we'll go to wrap it if we do wrap it. I have to cut some of these bamboos off in order to wrap it. Whoa-hoo! Look at that. What in the world are you talking about? Man, we talking about more flavor than you can shake a stick at. I don't know what it's about that pork and bacon, but it will flow down through that chicken. I'm talking about making something good right there. Crazy good. Really good. Now we're going to let our chicken bomb cook for maybe an hour, one hour. Our time right now is 10.13. We will be back at 11.13. We'll flip that big monster over. Before we go, let's take a shot of our chicken on the hot box grill. Jesus paid it all. Oh, listen to that sizzle. It's not the sale, it's the sizzle. I've been cooking 30 minutes. It took us 30 minutes to do that already. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got some good crust going there. I'll tell you what we're going to do with this one. We're going to spin it around. We're going to turn it over. So the juices will go down toward the chicken. Ooh, that one might not take as long to cook. Let me get my... Uh, let me get my meat rakes.
Give me two good meat breaks and we'll turn this rig around. It's the easiest way that I've found. Now, I'm not going to stick it in the meat. I'm going to stick it under the meat. I'll pick it up and turn it this way. All right. And I'm going to get my heavy glove. Worst thing you can do, punch a hole in the chicken or the pork one. It's not what you want to do right now. Okay, I've got it turned so the opposite side's toward the fire. Now I'm just going to turn it long front to back. And I'm going to turn it that way so all that bacon now will run down through the chicken. Shutter. Shut this one down a little bit. It's up 500 degrees. Now, one good thing to do a lot of times when you've got it like this and hit it with another, just a little dose of rub again. I put a lot of rub on it. All right, we'll be back at 10.13. I'm sorry, we'll be back at 11.13. All this cooking is powered by Royal. All right, here's our chicken on the hot box grill. It's cooking up beautifully. It's really done a great job. Uh, I gotta give the hot box grill mad props, man. I mean, uh, Dude. We're getting ready to, wow, that bacon grease is just dripping right down. Some beautiful bark being, being created by this hot box grill. Uh, I'm going to take these kitchen scissors and Cut some of these off because I'm going to put it in tin foil now. And that's a good whole bunch of right there. I don't know how we're doing on the other side as far as uh, how much we're sticking out. to cut this one off right here. Well, there's absolutely nothing sticking out. Okay. All right, we got our little bit cut off. Let's uh, spread this chicken and put it in this tin foil pan. Well. Okay. And what we 
going to do is, oh, I'm going to uh, boy, it's got some beautiful bark on it. I could continue to cook it the way it is, but do is I'm gonna get a little bit of this chicken broth I'm gonna dump it in the pan hopefully it hasn't caused the pan to leak yet and I'm gonna get a piece of tin foil that's the thing that's cool about the hot box grill I'm gonna push this all the way to one end of the pan as far as I can. So it'll be on the opposite side where the heat is. Okay. Now we're going to take you back over hot box grill. Now the charcoal is on this side. You see the turkey that's in the pan, it's on the opposite side. The wonderful thing is the hot box grill is big enough to hold the full serving pan. So we'll put a lid on it, finish cooking it like that. Now this double chicken situation that we're in on the other side, I'm gonna have to Look at that beautiful smoke coming out of there. I tell you, these Iron Man cookers now, this is really a kit. You know, you pay $175 to get a kit. Buy your barrel. It's okay for cooking. Wow. Look at that beautiful smoke. <laughs> She's cooking up good. Wow, let me get you a little closer. See if we look right in there. It's two chickens stacked up with a pork loin in the middle. For all y'all that might have watch this morning uh, right now it's a lot of smoke can't hardly see it because of the beautiful smoke coming out of there but uh, I think what I'm gonna do with this deal is I'm gonna get my scissors I'm get my scissors and cut off these bamboo sticks so they don't go through a tinfoil situation. I get stuck in the grate. And I'm going to get my gloves on. And we're going to turn this thing over. Let's 
For a little while. Boy, that's some beautiful bark forming on that. That's a five pound chicken on top, five pound chicken on the bottom. Wrapped all the way around both sides with the. We need to get our chicken and we're going to turn it over. And I'm going to go ahead and close it up. Look at that beautiful chicken. We've got too much flame going there. We don't want a barrel to catch on fire. Get it too hot and burn the chicken up. Boy, that thing is cooking good. Cooking real good. Might need to cut a little air down. Slow down that fire. I need to take a few pictures and put them on the internet. Look at this one. Yeah, let me get this off. Okay, our fire went out. Okay, we are good for another hour. Uh, put this on lid on. We'll be back in one hour. Royal Oak Charcoal. Some of the best charcoal in the land. This is two hours later now. We're getting ready to check on the two chickens sandwiching the pork loin. Royal Oaks, just the best flavor, just the best charcoal in the business. Barbecue Superstars, your source of barbecue cooking information. Barbecue competition is our specialty. We've got radio seven nights a week. The only real barbecue radio network in the world. The top hosts actually compete and cook barbecue. We're proud to be part of the OWN Zones family. Subscribe to the Barbecue Superstars channel today. BSPN, Barbecue Superstar Sports Network. Barbecue Superstars, Barbecue Superstore, 20,000 items. All the stuff you can imagine you'll need to cook that number one best barbecue. Barbecue Superstars can give you a personal guarantee that you're going to learn how to cook barbecue and you're going to start a life in barbecue. It's all coming to OWN Zones. Our channel's gonna get red hot. Subscribe to Barbecue Superstars today. Well, I might not go ahead and both eat both wings. <laughs>
Well, that outside wing was done, but the rest of it needs to cook a little bit more. Okay, what I'm going to do is I think the bottom chicken is more done than the, than the top. I'm turn it over. No, actually, I just wanted to <laughs> get access to the chicken wing. <laughs> God, this is good. Folks, there ought to be a law against this. Okay. Now I'm going to do my regular boat. You know, I always like to make a boat. When it's too big, really fit in the pan. Follow the arms for child down in front of you. Got it, made a hole in it. No? I got it three thick because I know that bamboo is going to make a hole in it. And that is our standard boat. Put it back in there. <laughs> if you think about what I've done here, crazy. <laughs> I got two big chickens and uh, I'm going to put another piece of tin foil on that. I pulled it a little bit too far this way. I got a hole there. put out. There it is. Oh, look at the lid. Whoop. 